Today on The Daily Dose, communication techniques of early man. Long stumped by the meaning of dots and other markings on cave paintings left behind by Ice Age humans, archaeologists were recently handed a major breakthrough by, as academics have called him, a person off the street. When British furniture restorationist Ben Bacon amassed a sizable database of cave paintings in search of repeating patterns. By way of backstory, between 24,000 and 21,000 years ago, early Homo sapiens migrated from the warmth of Africa into northern Europe and Eurasia, adapting to frigid climates due primarily to the increased size of their brains, not only surviving in frigid conditions, but thriving despite the extremes of their environment. With the advent of language came early man's ability to relay important information through music, art, and dance, allowing generations of early man to pass along information about seasons and weather patterns, the migrations and mating seasons of animals, and the edibility and preparation of certain plants. Armed with his database, Bacon sought out experts in the field of early man, including Durham University professor of archaeology Paul Pettit, who was glad he took it seriously when Bacon contacted him out of the blue. Along with a second Durham University professor and another from University College London, Bacon and his team published their findings in the Cambridge Archaeological Journal, revealing that Ice Age hunter-gatherers use calendars and markings to record information about ecological events within a given calendar period, including marks and dots that represented lunar months and the mating season of certain animals. Another frequently occurring symbol was the letter Y in the English language, which the researchers deduced as a symbol of giving birth, as one line grew out from another. According to Professor Pettit, the results show that Ice Age hunter-gatherers were the first to use a systemic calendar and marks to record information about major ecological events within that calendar. In turn, we're able to show that these people, who left a legacy of spectacular art in the caves of Luscao, France, and Altamira, Spain, also left a record of early timekeeping that would eventually become commonplace among our species. In an interview with Ben Bacon, he said that our ancestors were a lot more like us than we had previously thought. These people, separated from us by many millennia, are suddenly a lot closer, making the work of a mere person off the street an aha moment in our understanding of early man. And there you have it, communication techniques of early man, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.